Hello students, today we are going to learn about eyes, the structure and its working. Then we will be also studying about the structure and working of ears. And at the end we will be studying about how to take care of both of these organs. So let us start with the chapter immediately. We have already discussed few things from nervous system. Today, as I said, we will be learning about eyes, ears and how to take care of both of these organs. Starting with eyes, eyes are the organs of the visual system. Visual system means whatever we use to view or observe something or see something, that system is called as visual system. Each eyeball is safely set in a deep bony socket and is further protected by eyelids and the eyelashes. This helps to keep the dust and dirt out of our eyes. In front portion of the eyes, there is a circular transparent area called cornea. As you can see here, this is the transparent portion which is called as cornea. The colored circle in the eye is the iris. So here there is a colored portion which is most of the times it is black or it can be blue or brown. So color of the eyes when we say we talk about iris. Then the pupil which looks like a black spot over here is an opening through which light enters the lens. So this is cornea. This is iris and this over here is a pupil. A sensory nerve called optic nerve connects the eye to the brain. So this is a optic nerve and this connects eye to the brain. They provide animals with vision, the ability to receive and process visual details as well as enabling several photo response functions that are independent of vision. So eyes help us to have a vision of something. Whatever we see, whatever we observe, it is because of our eyes. Okay, it has the ability to receive and process the visual details as well as it enables several photo response functions that are independent of vision. Photo means here they are talking about light. At no, and not the photograph. I detect light and convert it into electrochemical impulses in neurons. Okay, so this light is detected by the elect by the neurons which are there at the retina part of the eye. Retina is um, at the back of the eye, not exactly at the back, but I am going to show you in the diagram. Let me come back over here. This is a sort, it acts like a screen for the eye. And this is what we call as retina. So, whatever light we receive, it falls on the retina. And retina has these uh, light sensitive neurons. They can detect the light, they can detect the colors. Then, how to take care of the eyes? First of all, we have to wash our eyes with clean cold water. Do not use too bright or too dim light while reading or doing work because dim light can cause eye strain and headaches. Too bright light can injure the retina. So we should take a middle path. You should not expose your eyes to too much of bright light which is also not good and too much of dim light is also not good because it causes a eye strain and too bright light can injure the retina. So you have to take care of the eyes in this way. So whatever is comfortable for the eyes that you have to observe, analyze and then accordingly you have to decide which light is good for you and which is not. Avoid reading in a moving vehicle. You should always avoid this no matter if it is train, if it is bus. Okay, the more bumpy the roads are, the more bumpy the path is and if you are going to try to read something then it is going to cause 
unnecessary strain on your eyes. Never rub your eyes if something gets inside it. Sometimes it happens when we are traveling, when we are out, there, there are dust particles and some of it might enter your eyes. Okay, but if it happens, you should not rub your eyes. Instead of that, you can wash your eyes with a clean cold water. Self-treatment could be dangerous to the eyes. Okay, you cannot be doctors. Doctors are the professional people. They are specialists. Okay, they know they have a proper knowledge of identifying something, of diagnosing, then they can give you a proper treatment. Okay, so it is always better to consult doctor than treat ourselves. Good nutrition is very important to both your eyes as well as general health. Okay, so overall body like any other part of the body, good nutrition is good for your eyes also. Okay, good nutrition keeps the eye in good condition. Then comes ears. So ear is a sensitive organ of the human body. It is mainly concerned with detecting transmitting and transducing sound okay it can detect the sound it can transmit the sound and it can transduce the sound okay now what is transducing transducing is something converting the signals okay what do we mean by converting the signals because whatever we hear the sound those are the vibrations right but our brain cannot identify the vibrations Instead, it can identify the electrochemical impulses. So, what does our auditory nerves do? These neurons, which are in the auditory nerves, they convert this sound or vibrations into electrochemical signals. Okay, and these signals are then uh, sent to the brain. Okay, and then our brain can identify that sound whether it is a boy's sound, whether it is a girl's sound, okay, from where it is coming, all this analysis part or identification part is processed in our brain, but it can only process electrochemical signals, which are converted by the neurons, because whatever we receive is an auditory sound, which is a vibration, sort of vibration, but they have to be converted to electrical signal for our brains to process it. Then, maintaining a sense of balance is another important function performed by the human ear. Many of us don't know. Even I didn't know about this for many years. But yes, this is a function of the ears. It maintains a sense of balance for our body. Okay, and this can be, uh, you can uh, do a small experiment. You just rotate around yourself for 2-3 to three minutes and then you try to stand. What happens? This liquid in this, our ear, there is a liquid in the ear that maintains a sense of balance. This liquid gets disturbed when we move around ourselves. And when this liquid gets disturbed, our sense of balance also gets disturbed so we feel like dizziness is there okay we feel dizzy okay we feel like we might fall that's because the water in the ear has been disturbed and that maintains the sense of balance then the next point is human ear human ear consists of three parts the first being the external ear which is over here then the middle ear this is a path and then there is an internal ear which mostly converts the vibrations into electrochemical impulses. So three main parts, external, middle and internal ear. Then how do we take care of the ears? Never clean your ears with a pointed object like a matchstick or hairpin. No matter how itchy it gets, you should never use such kind of things, matchsticks or hairpin, okay? If it is too much itchy, you can consult your doctors. Use a dry towel to clean your ears. You should always use a dry towel to clean your ears. 
then do not let water enter your ears okay water should not enter it might happen while taking a bath while swimming but you should make sure that it doesn't happen because it can affect your uh, um, the health of the ear okay then if there is a earache like i said you should consult your doctors okay doctor knows more you can consult the specialist also because doctor knows the best okay you should not treat yourself you should always consult your doctor if you have certain itching or any ear ache you can consult him then comes the last part which is question and answers okay here i am going to give you the questions and you have to try to answer them okay the first question is write a short note on eye then draw a diagram of an eyeball how can we take care of our eyes what are the functions of the ear and lastly how can we take care of our ears i will repeat the questions write a short note on eye then draw a diagram of an eyeball how can we take care of our eyes okay then one more what are the functions of the ear and lastly how can we take care of our ears so these are the questions that you had to solve well that was all for today students i hope you enjoyed the sessions and this answers are easy because we have already discussed this point you can easily find this points in our video okay so if you get st stuck somewhere you can rewind the video and watch it again so that you get a proper answers well so see you tomorrow with the another video until then take care bye bye